Kenya sio nchi ya rege na bangi na waganga. Kenya ni nchi ya Mungu na maombi. Nyinyi mnanielewa? Hiyo ndio Kenya na Kenya itazidi kuwa ni nchi ambayo inamcha Mungu. Na msikue na wasiwasi. Hii rege na bangi na waganga tutawakomesha Kenya hii. Hawawezi Mm. All right, that's the deputy president. He was speaking yesterday in Kakamega, uh, I believe at a church forum. We will shortly be listening to what uh, Senator Linturi said at the BBI meeting. We have it? Okay, let's listen to it. Mm. Pia ametumana polo nje yake ya kusema tuko pamoja. Baidio kwa mwisho kabisa. Well, I didn't want to begin with you, but Senator Mukumen looks really amused. I'm in doubt that actually the Deputy President sent you that apology. Oh, do you be in doubt? I sent it. I talked to him. Yeah, and everybody knows that they convey the messages of apology. <laughs> How would he send an apology and then the following day he's talking about these reggae na bangi itakoma? You know, the thing here is, in terms of this aspect of uniting Kenyans under the Mending Bridges Initiative, mm -hmm. we are not opposed to it. He is not opposed to it. Right? So the, I think, in my view, also where I have a, uh, some bit of a problem, mm -hmm. is the methodology and uh, the style in mm -hmm. which we want now to move from the main agenda mm -hmm. of the BMBI to achieve other political things that we may not, have, uh, we may not be aware of. So if the BMBI is meant to reinvent mm -hmm. or to resuscitate Right or mm -hmm. to to uh, uh, to give people now another opportunity to become relevant in Kenyan politics. That is what we are opposed to. But if if they were to get political relevance after informing constitutional change, we have no problem. Mm -hmm. But let's not take advantage of ignorance of the people. The, the, uh, the let's not take advantage of the goodwill that the people have given mm -hmm. this process, and then completely forget mm -hmm. what the intentions of the whole thing was mm. to be. Okay. Oh, Dr. You Chris, know. even as you're giving us your thoughts on um, the whole BBI and what happened in Meru, we cannot mm. uh, not fail to mention what Jubilee Party Vice Chair David Murade had to say. He said President Uhuru Kenyatta will not hand power to a thief after his term ends in 2022. This is the Jubilee Party former Vice Chairman. Mm -hmm. Who is he speaking on behalf of? Now, uh, Murade is the only person in a better position to tell us who is this Mwizi mm -hmm. he was referring to. Because I don't know what was in his mind when he said that the president will not give power to a Mwizi. Because I know that the Kenyans will give power. It's not the president. Yes. That the Kenyans will go and vote. Mm -hmm. So maybe you call him next time to come here and tell us who is this Mwizi he was referring to. But more importantly about But also who is he speaking on behalf of for him to make such a statement? As he's well. entitled his own opinion. It's in the constitution. So it is him to tell us if, he's, if at all he's representing someone. Mm. Now coming back to BBI. BBI is a wonderful idea. Many Kenyans are embracing it. But we have fear of unknown. You know, in politics, people can try to create uh, a wave, you know? Because when you look at the BBI, there's a proposal for what development fund. This is going to be very good. The development unit is going <coughs> to move to the wards, and we will support that. Secondly, the issue of having ministers coming from the floor of the house. We must go back to the parliamentary mm -hmm. system. If not a parliamentary system, maybe a hybrid. It's a wonderful idea. I think everybody is supporting that ministers should come from the floor of the house. Personally, I strongly feel the Senate must be an upper house. Mm -hmm. And this is something the Senator is also happy about. And I also strongly feel the executive should be expanded for purposes of inclusivity. Mm -hmm. These are wonderful ideas. So the issues as we move forward, everybody wants to drive this BBI ship because maybe it might create a wave. And Honorable Linturi has just mentioned and nobody is opposed to this BBI. Right. So I think the highest time is Kenyans should come together okay. for purposes of inclusivity so that we can own this BBI, all of us. Right. But it's a wonderful idea. I have no doubt we are okay. going to have a referendum. And with this BBI, 
I think it's going to add a lot of value as far as the issues around elections. Mm. We don't want a winner takes it all. So you don't think we're going for a referendum? No, no, we should go for a referendum. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, horrible Malim was itching to respond. Uh, what is that? Or, or should you run a clip first so that you listen yeah, to your thing? Okay. Let's listen to what Peter Kenneth and uh, Francis Atoli were saying at the event, and especially after uh, what is being mentioned to be a walkout by Senator Murkomen and uh, Moses Kuria and, uh, and, and, and other people. Let's listen to the leaders that spoke after that uh, walkout. Wale ambao wanakuja hapa wanasema wanauga bibi aye mkono. Alafu wanawanyima nyinyi wenyewe heshma wakizungumza wanangoka. Hiyo si heshma kwa Ameru. Tumeelewana? Hiyo si heshma kwa Ame? Kwa Ameru. BBI is not just about executive. Si mambo ya viti peke yake. Wale wanapinga BBI, manake ndani ya BBI kuna mambo ya kupigana na corruption. Wanaongea juu ya utapeli lakini hii BBI ukiangalia pointi ya nane ni ya kupambana na ufisadi. Because nilisikia hapa watu wanasema BBI siwa ya utabeli. Utabeli katika Kenya iko kwa ofisi ya nane. Utabeli katika Kenya huko katika ofisi ya nani? Ofisi ya nani? Munya amesema hiyo. Na Munya amesema hiyo. Na wakatoliki wenzangu, mimi ni mkatoliki, muombe sana. Hiyo ofisi isichukue uongozi wa nchi hii. Uhuru hata wachia mwizi hii kiti. Mmenielewa? Ama wachie mwizi. Awachie mwizi Hata wachie mwizi Mambo ya mbibi yae Si mambo ya kusaindia mtu fulani ya chukue kiti Iyo ni poronjo Iyo ni poronjo ya siyasa Kwa sababu wakati wakupiga kura Hakuna mtu wa satu hiu wa kutafuta kura Kila mtu wakona haki ya kutafuta nini? Kura Kwa hivyo kusema BBI ni kukukanya wa usipate kiti hiyo ni uongo na ni porojo tuwachane na porojo So, um, Honobo Malim of course you are a senior politician in this country and a senior leader so the theater that you, the country is being treated to of name calling um, drawing what you'd call as he put it us versus them how do we survive that as a country as I mean you talked about the handshake how do you move to the next phase of uniting the country at a time there is all this name calling. <clears throat> you know, this was, uh, in my opinion, supposed to be a, a very powerful crossroads in, in our political history, in which we're going to say never again. Mm -hmm. Every time we have an election, we come very close to disintegrating as a state and society. Mm -hmm. And when we say the handshake, Rahila, who for Lintons and purposes won three elections and was rigged out and, and, and some of the forces that rigged him out, which the president included, came together and decided we're going to shake hands and we will leave this country better than we found it. And it's a very good thing. It's a very brave thing for, for both of them. The point is, what system are you going to leave? Is it a system that essentially is going to Revalidate your own words as, mm -hmm. as politicians <coughs> and say, no, next time, even if I steal votes from you, I'll give you a prime minister's position or you can give me this position or that position. And then you talk about inclusivity and create so many other offices. Mm -hmm. Or is it a system that is going to make sure that we do not have any contestations again on who won and who lost? So are you for the referendum? I am for the referendum, but this is what I want to, I want to you see. Everybody is for BBI. Everybody is for the referendum. But what is going to be the inputs into the referendum? Mm. I don't want an expanded, what you call executive, whereby you have a president, you have a deputy president, you have a prime minister, you have two deputy prime ministers, you have all sorts of offices out there. Mm -hmm. And in which you say, give this to Western, give this to Eastern, give this to Northern. I mean, that's nonsense in my opinion. We have always had a problem because of that imperial, powerful presidency which is there with all the powers but with no responsibility. Do you mm -hmm. then want a three-tier That's government? what I'm coming to. No, no, hang on a minute. With no responsibility. 
Because that president is not accountable to Kenyans anywhere. He does what he wants. He is the one who rules the country, but he does not come on the floor of the house to be accountable to the country. He does not come to any forum to explain the omissions and the commissions of his government. Mm -hmm. I am for the idea of having a pure parliamentary system okay. in which everybody, including the one who is going to become the head of the government, just goes and runs for his own seat at the, at the, county, at the, at the constituency the level. Mm -hmm. Then the party that has got the maximum number of seats mm -hmm. in the country, mm -hmm. if it has the majority, it forms the government. If it does not have the majority, then it goes into a collision with other parties mm -hmm. and then forms the government. So we have a, we, a ceremonial we, president. Okay. We have elected a, a, what you call, a, a prime. Eh? How, how, do, how will you elect a president in that format? The president is usually, you don't have to reinvent the wheel. Just mm -hmm. look at all the systems that are there in the world. By the way, every system in the world that is successful, mm -hmm. that is done by the developed countries, whether it is Japan, Korea, uh, Australia, uh, New Zealand, uh, uh, Canada, the whole of Europe except France, mm -hmm. the whole of Europe except France and Switzerland, mm -hmm. uses this system where you either have uh, a monarchy there who is basically there as a ceremonial monarch, we call them constitutional monarchies, mm -hmm. or you have a, a ceremonial president, Israel, for example. Mm -hmm. and, and this is always chosen by the party that has the numbers, the leading party then has, chooses that, that president in the sense that they look for an imminent personality, somebody who will, hardly will, is going to be seen in public functions there. Mm -hmm. But the okay. Prime Minister is accountable to the people on the floor of the House. Mm -hmm. But Honorable Malin, people have been asking the question, for a politician to go there around the country no, yes. looking for mm -hmm. votes, win yes. the popular vote, and then when they come, they have no power to execute anything. No, no, you don't, have anybody, you don't have anybody running all over the country for a, for a popular vote. You don't have a president who is going to be elected by popular vote. There is no more popular votes. The only other country is the U.S. And look at what is happening in the U.S. right now. This is a situation you had where Trump lost with three million votes and mm -hmm. still went and formed the government. No, in, in uh, the they, format they want to about, change it themselves. In yeah. the format you're talking about, how yeah. would you propose to elect a president? Is it the president does not have to? No, 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 no. It's not universal suffrage. Mm -hmm. Just read how the Israeli president. The no, president I want, is I'm asking you. Uh, the format what that happens? You parliament comes <coughs> together and gets an imminent personality. Okay. Only parliament elects that okay, person. Okay, so you want a parliament. And that, pers that, pers that personality mm -hmm. does not, has very limited executive powers, mm -hmm. other than receiving ambassadors and other than telling the prime minister to form the government, mm -hmm. the party which has the numbers. Okay. Instead of a monarchy, you have that ceremonial president. Okay. And he has a term which is six years, more than one year, more than that, so that he can see one government and hand over to the next government again. And then one time only he goes. Okay. All right. Do you yes. agree with a rotation of presidents? No. Then how Absolutely. will we ever see a Somali Kenyan president? Why do I have to be a president? I don't need to be a president. You don't need to be a president. But will if we you have this system that's there where you have a prime minister who's accountable to the people and the, a government elected, taken from parliament, All right. a parliament, you don't need to have a president to succeed. Okay, so oh, oh, and in right. the case, yeah, Kitubu, the Kenyans, like I don't think the Kenya will really need to care who becomes president. What care. we need to be advocating for is fairness and equity in terms of resource allocation, in mm -hmm. terms of I, whatever I, I, opportunities I, I, are available. And that would be a must. I uh, beg to differ. Uh, yeah, yes, Kenyans Dr. really want to vote for a president who has powers. And that's why some of us are advocating mm -hmm. for a hybrid system. Mm -hmm. There's no way you can not vote the for... Ahead you are voting for president someone Kibaki? and it's going to... Yeah, the accord was almost there. There was mm. some delegate balance. We must borrow something from the presidential system right. and something from uh, the parliamentary system. Okay. You can't have a pure parliamentary. It must be a hybrid. Mm -hmm. Okay. That oh, one, oh, that one, that so one, can so I just correct? Malim, I, I'm sure all of us cannot agree on the I want to that correct have. that one, the, our, 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 the one which we'd heard with Kibaki. Uh -huh. That was the national accord, accord yeah. was 50-50, mm -hmm. which means there was a contested, and these people, we came together to share power. To share power. But if you're going to do it in a proper democratic way, how are you going to share power, if I may ask you? You have a president Ghana, who appoints a prime minister? The, the Ghana system. L listen to me. You, you have a president who appoints a prime minister. Then you'll have a president who's coming from the mountain region. He will appoint a prime minister coming from Lua Nyanza, and he'll appoint mm. a deputy prime minister coming from Lua Nyanza, but from Western Kenya. He does not need any other Kenyan. The rest of us will be left out in the cold. Okay. Because that gives him the numbers he needs in parliament. All right. You, you see what I mean? Oh, 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 he has the, right. he, the, the numbers, sorry, sorry, not in parliament, but the numbers he needs in, in popular elections. It's All finished. Right. All right, let's take a short break. When we return, we'll be talking about the situation in Nairobi. We know that uh, last week, uh, President uh, Kenyatta uh, oversaw the transfer of certain functions to the national government of the Nairobi county. We'll be looking at that in the little time remaining after the break.